Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is Cordextral here, and today we're going to be talking about emulation for the Xbox. I've been on this crusade of being wanting to play older games from my childhood. We're going to be talking about Xbox emulation, but in other videos, we'll be talking about GameCube games, um, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, um, Sega Genesis, Sega Dreamcast, the N64. I've just been wanting to play older games because the new games that are out, it's just like, it's eh. You know, it's just eh. They're boring. Everything is boring now. The new Call of Duty Vanguard, that shit's dumb. Um, Deathloop, that one's all right. That one's, that's an all right game. Um, it's just all these new games is just I I just can't fucking do it, dude. I, I just can't play it anymore. I'm, I want to go back to the older games where I used to enjoy them, where I know I had that fun and nostalgic memories of. The problem is I'm restricted to money. Now you're probably thinking, well, you have a couple of jobs and YouTube pays you. Yeah, yeah, you're right. But the problem is I keep buying Pokemon plushies. I keep buying Pokemon plushies. Like I, I got myself the Mew, you know, look how cute it is. Look how cute it is. And if if I didn't had this craze of buying Pokemon stuff or even waifu stuff, you know, the 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 teenager me would look at myself like, wow, you're you're a fucking nerd. You're a weeb. And it's because I have I have no friends. And now I'm just developing all this collective hobbies. So there's nothing wrong with that now. <laughs> um anywho I want to get all of the original consoles and get an SD card or ones that use big, thick uh, hard drives. Um, I will replace it out with that and uh, modify the shit out of these consoles so I can import all these games into it. You know, backed up, purchased legal games now. Um, but uh, that's that's not the case. I haven't started on that project yet, but we will. Starting soon, hopefully, if I can stop buying Pokemon stuff. All right, let's talk about X Emu and let's uh, show you how to get this all set up. So here is X Emu um, Xbox emulator, and just go ahead and click the download. If you scroll down, um, it'll show you the compatible games. Um, the sixty percent are playable, and the rest are not really playable. And there's a two percent. So if you go ahead and click on that. Uh, these are perfect, which are extremely playable. Um, they're, it's just, you will not experience any issues. I can tell you, um, I downloaded uh, uh, Dead or Alive. I mean, definitely Extreme Beach Volleyball because boobs, but I downloaded Dead or Alive, the fighting game. And the first one, there was some lag, but in the second disc, there wasn't any lag whatsoever. Um, so it varies from gameplay to gameplay. The things that offer is, I mean, open source is pretty cool, but cross-platform. So even if you're playing the X Emu on Windows, you can also play with people who are playing it on Xbox as well, or even on other, you know, platforms, Linux, Mac OS, and uh, system links with the real Xboxes and whatnot. So there's game support for, you know, if you have an Xbox 360 controller or even an Xbox One controller, and um, it'll play like how it is on the original Xbox. And there's their save and rendering scales or render scaling and so on and so forth. Um, the next thing is you are going to be needing to scroll all the way down and get the pre-formatted Xbox hard disk image. So make sure that's all in your desktop folder. And uh, let's go ahead and move this on the side. So now that we have our files here, and yes, you'll be needing additional files with the Xbox BIOS here. Um, I'll leave you a Reddit link that's really helpful. Um, you know, I'll give you the Reddit link. All right, just I just can't give you a direct download to this, but I'll give you a Reddit link. Anywho, so X Emu, let's go ahead and open that up. Open up the executable, and let's go scroll um, or scroll. Bring this to the right. So it's asking for um, uh, files. What you want to do is click OK, click OK, 
And what we want to do is go to our settings and you're going to scroll through the files. So flash BIOS uh, file, browse and go to your BIOS folder. And what we want is the, I am choosing the 4627 debug and we want the MCPX, which is right here. And the Xbox hard disk that you've downloaded, which will be, let's move this to the side. It was right on my desktop. And your EE prompt should automatically fill out. Uh, system memory, 64. You can even choose uh, 128. I just choose 64 by default. Um, I want to skip startup animation and you can enable uh, um, updates on startup. So now that's that's out of the way, go ahead and close it and you can load yourself a game. Now it has to be in a format of xiso.iso. You can have games that are um, that are a dot ISO. And if that's the case, you need to download um, the C tool or C Xbox tool, which is something completely different. And you need to convert that ISO into an X ISO dot ISO. If I am not mistaking, um, that's a different tutorial, but, um, you know, that's something to look into, but make sure when you, uh, uh have a game, it has to be X ISO dot ISO. All right, um, let me go ahead and load the disk or the file and let's choose Dead or Alive Extreme Beach Volleyball. So we respect Whammon so hard here. Once that's already loaded, uh, you wanna hit reset and give it a moment. Guest has not initialized display yet. What are you talking about, brother? All right. I just closed it and reopened it. See, and now it runs. Now to get your controller to start working, uh, go to machine, go to input, and select the controller that you have plugged in. Um, I'm just gonna do keyboard and mouse. I, I don't know how I'm gonna work this. Yeah, this is weird. The keyboard is weird, get a controller. Anywho, um, but once your controller's plugged in, it will populate under this drop box menu. Ah, oh my God, that is loud, that is loud. I'll just turn that down, my bad, my bad. I have turned that down. So the intro is a little bit laggy. I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter and hit enter again. Zach's Island. Zach's a pervert. Just FYI. Zach is a pervert. I would not recommend playing keyboard and mouse on this game. Where shall we go? Ooh, Nikki Beach. Poolside. You know, poolside, you could never go wrong with that. And look at that. You can see Kasumi. And uh, she's just, you know, let her take a rest. She had, she had a very long day. You know, let her work out, let her do her thing. So there's some lag to it, but it all depends, you know, on the game that you want to play. And sometimes the mode that you're trying to play, you know, it works out perfectly. Like when we are, uh, when we are um, playing volleyball, that game works out or that game and mode works out perfectly fine. Uh, however, that concludes the video for today. I hope you guys learned something and make sure you guys like, share, comment, subscribe, and you know, make sure that you guys follow me on twitch.tv slash codeactual. There is no official, um, how can I say this? I do not give you live tech support on other social media, including Twitch. I'm just saying, come hang out. All right. You guys take care. Peace out.
Thank you for sticking around. Please feel free to watch my other videos. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, follow my social media. If you're feeling generous, check out my Patreon or send in a donation of any amount with PayPal. It really helps out with post-production, equipment, food in my belly, and also continue making free content for you guys. Links in the description. Y'all take care, and thank you once again.